tell me I'm uh, tell me I'm wrong here. Spear Tomb, ugliest Pokemon. Spear Tomb came out of nowhere to get second place at the Players Cup Four, piloted by Bruno Sermon. Let's take a look at his list and have a little bit of fun with one of the ugliest Pokemon. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm excited about this one. We have Spirit Tomb. Kind of a weird trajectory for Spirit Tomb. Started off as a deck on its own. Then we saw Spirit Tomb be played with ADP. Then we saw it as a supplemental attacker in Eternatus. And now it's back to being its own deck. So let's take a look at the card here. Spirit Tomb, 60 HP with the Building Spite ability allows us to add damage counters to this Pokemon. Normally not a good idea, especially with such little HP, but Anguish Cry for one Darkness Energy does 10 plus and 30 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So you build Spite to build up your Anguish Cry. And we just got a new tool released, uh, you know, recently in the new block of cards. Cape of Toughness here, the basic Pokemon this is attached to gets plus 50 HP, except Pokemon GX. So Cape of Toughness is going to go really well with that Spirit Tomb. Boost the total potential damage to 310 for a single Dark Energy. Pretty good. Pretty good. So how do we get some damage counters onto our Spirit Tomb without just using the ability? Well, we have Jinx. So let's say our opponent hit into something that wasn't Spirit Tomb for not enough damage. Well, we can just Ominous Posture that damage counter. Away from that Pokemon and onto the Spear Tomb, uh, we also have Spike Muth Stadium. So whenever a player's active Pokemon moves to the bench during their turn, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. And of course, when you're trying to build up damage with the Spike Muth, we're going to play max counts of Escape Rope and max counts of Switch so that we can be able to switch, switch, Escape Rope, Escape Rope, you know, building up 8, 10, 12 damage counters in a single turn just by using Spike Muth Stadium. Uh, to also help with that switching possibility, we have the Hiding Dark Energy. This allows us to uh, retreat our Darkness Pokemon for free, which is a very nice effect to have. And we also have Bird Keeper as well, again, to be able to switch as much as possible. Got ourselves some Bosses Orders, got ourselves some Research, but beyond that, just a trio of support Pokemon, Crobat V, Dedenne, and or Corio. You're going to see those all come in very handy, but I would generally say the card that you lean on the most in this deck is the Orcorio GX, just because you're going to have these one prizers that are very easily knocked out. So that is a list, you guys. We're going to have some fun with this dark type Spear Tomb. Have a little bit of fun, enjoy our time, and uh, kick some butt. So let's take a look at the second place Players Cup 4 Spear Tomb list. Dave says the Gym Leader Challenge now. That's dope. Yeah, Gym Leader Challenge rocks, man. I'm a huge fan. Um, I mean, a lot of me wants to just go Ordinary Rod. So we... I don't know what decks are playing Swell. So what my thought here is to go Quick Ball the Bod for a Tomb. Spike Muth, Retreat. Do this. Does that seem, that seems reasonable, right? I guess what I could have done if I wasn't going to bench that second Jinx. Um, if I wasn't going to bench that second Jinx, I'm still thinking about it. I, I think I might hold it. I guess I could have discarded the Jinx and then kept the Ordinary Rod. Yeah, GLC is cool. I want to build. So I have like a cube and I have an unfinished cube that's like very bad that I need to. I need to do some serious updates too, but it has like, it has like all my old trophy cards and stuff. Like it has, it's like this kind of like, um, do I have it? It's in one of these boxes, but it's like my, I, I might, I might actually have it. Hold on. Give me a second. I think my pants are falling. Um, Might be in one of these boxes. I 
I'm still unpacking box, dude. We moved, what, a month ago? And I'm still unpacking boxes, it's horrible. Okay, I didn't find it. It's certainly not in time. Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Get ourselves one of these fellas. We'll go. We'll go B search. Um, so what, we scoop up the jinx, right? Oh no, we could go, let's go level ball. Get ourselves one of them. Burrachis. Uh, build some spite. Build some spite. Go Switchington into the Rotch. I guess we need like an energy spinner, don't we? Oh yeah, we need energy. Just like straight up. Um, okay, so that maybe makes things easy, right? Because we we just uh, ominous posture here to here. Put a cape of toughness down. This goes down. We scoop up. See, we could bird keeper. Yeah, we bird keeper into a scoop up into, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll hold this hand. We don't care if the drach goes down. That's fine. Dave says I built every type IRL except fighting and fairy. I think what could be cool is to have a draft format, but it's all, so it's like, it's like gym leader challenge and it's like drafting, except you, you just have your, your type, right? So you have all the dark stuff and all the fighting stuff and like you build your deck out of what's available. Does that make sense? Am I making any sense? You just have like all of the fighting cards and then you give all the fighting cards to like your friend and then they make, you know, the fighting deck, right? Like you make the water deck or whatever. I don't know. I think you get me. I think you get me. All righty then. Sad that we are Man, really sad about that. Oh, okay, okay. We're okay. Sailor Beach. Um. Let's see, 70, 60. Scoop that up. So 70 is gonna be 220. So we would need to, yeah, build spite, which we have not done yet. So yeah, I think we can go in with this guy. Let's do this. And I'm gonna actually save, I'm gonna save my body for the Orcorio. Excellent. Build spite. Ominous posture. Ominous posture. Build some spite. Build that spite. Yeah, you you build that spite, daddy. All right. Build spite. Attach. Dance a dance a butte. Okay. And then we'll go in with one of them there anguish cries. This is a fantastic hand. Very happy. Never drafted before, so I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm, it's fun, it's fun. I think everybody should have a cube. Um, and cubes are another one of those, like they're, they're another one of those formats where 
you don't actually have to, um... Ouch. That hurt me. It's another one of those formats where you don't actually have to... Like, have very expensive cards, right? To play it. You can just make it with whatever's lying around. Say less, dude. Say less. The knockout. Oh my goodness, bro. What the heck? And the swell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I thought we were going to win for sure. Now I'm not so sure. Oh my goodness. That's absurd. That is absurd. What a freaking... Wait, they didn't... Hold up. I'm sorry, am I missing something? They didn't take a knockout? I'm really confused. Um... That's level ball? Wait a second. Was that a misplay or was that intentional? I'm very confused. Dance a tribute. Okay. Cape of Toughness. Ominous posture. Yo, let's go! Thank you so much to the Alaskan Hero. Two years. Happy birthday. Happy stinking birthday. That rocks. Thank you so much for uh, for being a part of the squad. Appreciate it. All right. We'll get that Jinx going. I think we'll play Jinx back down. Seems good. Okay, well, resetting hole. Um, and then I don't think we can spike move, right? So we do seven, we're doing 220. Um, I mean, we play this down. I don't know, they might play another swell. Yeah, we just needed one more switch card. Oh, no, we do get the knockout because I think we can uh, build our own spite. Okay. Or we're 20 da or we're 10 damage short. No, no, 250. Yeah, yeah, because we do 10 plus, right? I was like, oh, 240, we're going to be 10 damage short, but we do the uh, we do the 10 damage on the basic. Thank you so much, Alaskan Hero. That means the world to me. I appreciate you being around for uh, for such a long time. Can't believe I've been doing this for like two years. That's crazy. Okay, so they're gonna go ahead and dreamy rev. You ever feel like this Jirachi? This Jirachi is me when it's Friday. Uh, just very, um, very shiny and very happy. I'm happy. JW, I have a job interview on Monday. What's your best bit of advice? Um, I don't know. Is this a first job? Yo, let's go. I still don't know why they didn't attack us that one turn. I'm just really confused about that one. Unless that was... Maybe it was the same Zashin that got a knockout, but I thought we knocked that out on the previous turn. I don't know. Something something went there that disconnected in my brain. But um, first job towards a career. I mean, I would say, I mean, research is going to be 
one of the biggest things. So know what you're walking into. Look up the people on LinkedIn. I know that sounds really creepy, but you know, sometimes you gotta be a creeper to get a job, okay? Look up the people on LinkedIn, find out where they live, you know, find out how many people are in their family, you know, what each of their children look like and make sure you bring up what their children look like. No, I'm just uh, bad advice, but no, look them up on LinkedIn though. And just like be able to know like, oh, who you're talking to and what the company is like and how long, maybe how long they've been there, you know, so you could ask the leading question like, oh, how long have you been there? You know, like if they, if they've, you've seen that they've been there for 20 years, you know, you're like, oh, how long have you been at this company for? Oh, okay. It's been a long time. All right. Very cool. You know, just things like that. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 for sure. Definitely, definitely do that. Definitely do that. Um, for sure. For sure, do that. All right. Jirichi. You're up, buddy. Quick ball. Give me a dead any. Okay, can we get the knockout? 210 on turn one? Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Um, it's not gonna happen, but it's a nice. A guy can dream. Okay, it wasn't crazy. It wasn't crazy far, uh, but we just didn't get a stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the stadium at, man? Oh, uh, well, ominous posture. Um, let's level ball. Let's level ball. I think we just get another spear two mount. Seems fine. Build some spite. And then... That definitely does leave us open to getting, um, to getting punished, right? We don't have a space open for Jirachi or for uh, Mars Shadow, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, so I'd say look them up on LinkedIn, just kind of have an idea of like what questions you can ask. And then definitely, definitely, 100%, make sure that you ask questions and seem interested, okay? Half of, I feel like, Half of the interview process is just actually seeming like you're interested in what what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Just seem excited. I think that's it. And I think you're going to crush it. I think you're going to crush it. I hope you crush it at the very least. Job interviews are tough, but also what is going on here? <laughs> we got a Corviknight and a Victini. I don't know that I've uh, seen those. And we got a Galarian Articuno V. Okay. Okay. Might just be, might just be binder drop deck. All right. So 70... Um, sure, 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 build spite, give me some of that spite. Spite me. Spite me. Retreat. And Jirachi. Sure, we'll bird keeper. That's fine. Um, so we're doing 50. So that's like 170 or something. 
All right, 170. Um, so we can, we're doing 180, right? 50 times three. Why are we doing 160? We're doing 160. Why am I thinking that it's 170? All right. So 160 is gonna be enough. 130 is not enough. So let's move this here. And then we'll scoop. I'll leave the last bench spot open. I guess if they take a knockout, then we would still promote the spear tomb. So let's go ahead and anguish cry. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, cool. So is that a seasonal job? Ben? Or is it like an indoor water park? Like, are we talking like Great Wolf Lodge water park? Or are we talking like Cedar Point? You know, what's what's their water park called? It's like Splash, Splash World or, you know, whatever. Okay, Crobbit hits the bench. Did they already draw? <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, it's so bad. That's so bad. Cabriza. Cabriza. Let's go, Great Wolf Lodge. Get it. Yeah, that's great, man. Wish you all the best for sure. Um. Okay, 310. We're not we're not hitting 310 anytime soon. Let's go build some spite though. We still about to try though. Deluish. Um I guess we could hit 310. How do we do it though? We have to we have to jinx twice. Okay, there's there's a way we take this knockout. Hold up. So we bird keeper Jirachi. We have to retreat again. So let's go level ball. We could do double jinx. Let's just do this. Let's do this. Double jinx, and then we have to find um, another switch out. We need to find one switch, basically. Okay, we need to find one switch here. Off the bird keeper slash um, or choreo. Ooh, sad. Dang, man. I mean, we still win, but dang, man. Anguish cry 220. Thanks, Spirit Tomb. You need a hug. You need a hug, bro. We missed it, man. All right. Tell me I'm... Uh, tell me I'm wrong here. Spirit Tomb, ugliest Pokemon. Ned Jirachi, Bird Keeper, Ned Jirachi, Spite, Move with Jinx. Let's see. Net Jirachi. And then Bird Keeper this to put it at what? Um, to put it at um, 90? And then move on with Jinx? Okay. Okay. 
Luke says that Jinx is worse than Spirit Tomb. I, it's it's a close it's a close battle, I think. <laughs> All right, we'll put this up. Um, Gus does it. That's nice. We could just get a knockout on the active. That's nice. Mm, we'll want this down. That's nice. Let's go build some spite. Do this. We should have probably drawn the cards first, but I'm not really that worried. Um, we'll go, well, I almost pressed Anguish Cry. Let's go Retreat here. Build Spite. We want to keep this alive because that's our last knockout. Presumably Ominous Posture. Go there. A Stellar Wish. These are like the last cards in our deck. Awesome. So then... Scoop. Scoop. We could have Stellar Wished again, but there actually comes a point where we we actively do not want to. So 70 is going to be 220. So we can afford to, if we want to, move a damage counter off onto the Spirit Tomb. Um, I think I'll Ordinary Rod. Let's do both here. I'm going to keep one Tomb. And one energy. Let's go here. Let's get another Spear Tomb. Let's just kind of multiply damage while we while we can. That, I think, guarantees us win. Um, we'll save the scoop up net. We'll just go Anguish Cry on the active. 220. We could have taken a damage counter off. But I don't think it's going to be an issue. It could be an issue if they mess with this, but then we have enough. Um, you know, so we go we go build spite, build spite, and then we go jinx, and we put it on. So we just need the three damage counters on this spear tomb. And then we get the knockout. Danny, hey, welcome to the stream, Danny. Thank you so much. Love the content. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. It's really fun to make. If that is not um, abundantly clear, I really, really enjoy making YouTube content, making Twitch content. So thank you. Okay, so there's a Marne. And yeah, there's that knockout. Okay, great. Yeah, GG. Not too much they could have done there. Uh, we can just go do something like this. Uh, and then... The very convoluted way to do it, but... <laughs> but I like that. I don't know. That's kind of fun. Let's go, Anguish Cry. GG. Well played. Spirit Doom. Anguish Crying. Don't cry, my son. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs>